record earnings for Netflix and I'm not going to go over the actual numbers because I'm sure that everybody else already has. But what we're going to go through is where I think we're going to go, you know, from the next couple of weeks onwards, we're going to talk about my position that I closed today for a massive, massive profit, uh, closing the day up over 10 G's, but on Netflix specifically over $5,800. And we're going to talk about why I saw potentially Netflix going into earnings. So if you guys want to get access to all my trades, go follow me on X or check out our Discord community they're both free and if you want to get access to every single trade i take including that netflix call which made you fifty eight hundred dollars the link is the second one in the description go check it out you guys can see here that we said on 10 10 that netflix had a falling wedge with a bearish divergence it's one of my favorite things to play this was an a plus setup i said Sentiment was obviously going to be bullish and we have a classic setup here RSI divergence on balance diverging as well We're going to talk about all of that ETM was squeezing I said the only thing now is that we have to get through this bearish order block where we are squeezing against and using this as resistance If we break over that we will run to 410 or 420 in a week or so since there's little volume and then we we're talking about potential earnings so What's a descending wedge? Let's talk about this first. A descending wedge occurs when a stock is moving its way down through lower highs to a fixed point. Now, instead of making an equal lower low, like a channel, we actually come to a fixed point, and that fixed point is called our apex. What tends to happen here is we see our TTM squeeze very, very strong, and then once the TTM squeeze releases, we tend to get a violent move to either the upside or the downside, 80% of the time it's the upside when it comes to a descending wedge and from here that's exactly what happened now coincidentally this descending wedge's apex which this tends to happen a lot was based around a major catalyst i.e netflix earnings so when we see a stock that is in a descending wedge with a strong bullish divergence ttm is squeezing it's pretty beaten up and i didn't think that earnings were anything crazy that people expected so i thought that anything would be a pretty solid beat you get yourself an a plus setup and here's the deal this would have ended up not working out i would have been fine at one point i was down about eight thousand dollars on my trade, you guys will see if I actually zoom up here. So I closed 13 grand on the day, but I only made $5,800 because I was down about eight Gs. But I didn't average down and pray. I had a plan. I didn't freak out and close out my trade early or close out my trade, you know, too late today. I acted like a professional and I closed as soon as the market opened. Now, why did I close? Number one reason is that I was up a lot, so I just didn't really care. And the main reason too is that we have this 200 SMA at 415, which I don't think will be easy for us to get through. And I also knew that Jerome Powell was gonna be speaking today at 12 o'clock, and that could heavily affect the market. So I figured I might as well get away, uh, get I'm sorry, get out while I was ahead. And as well, we had a lot of volume pouring into those contracts this morning, so a lot of people were overpaying. I hope this video helps, guys. Thanks for all the support. Check out our Discord community. Go ahead and trade with us every single day. You can sign up to the Traders Helping Traders Premium Group from our Discord. It's 50 bucks a month. And today we close out, like I said, today was 10 grand. So you would have made 20 years worth of our membership. Guys, thanks for all the support. Go check it out. I'll see you next time.